It's that time of year again where e-commerce nerds like me get all giddy and excited because Shopify releases a major upgrade to the platform. And there's over 150 and this year it's got AI at the center of absolutely everything and it's gonna change the way that you use Shopify. I've spent the last 24 hours going through every single one of the updates and testing them out, trying them to come up with my top eight so I can share to you so you can use them on your Shopify store. Now, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name's Brendan Gillen and I've been growing e-commerce stores for the last 15 years. And I started this YouTube channel so that I could share my expertise. You can learn from me and grow your own stores. So if you're starting an e-commerce store or you're running one, I urge you to subscribe to this channel because I release videos just like this every single week. Now let's get to the updates. So there's over 150 and what they do is they list them here on these additions page. And this one is called the Horizons Update. And over on the left hand side, you're gonna see sort of all these different sort of sections broken out into what the updates are. But I'm gonna give you my top eight now. The first one is a release of more themes. There's now 10 free themes released on the Shopify theme store that have been built by Shopify. Now, originally they just have Dawn theme, but now they have a whole heap of themes. So let's have a look at what those are there. We've got this one, which is called Pitch. We've got one, which is called Vessel. We've got another one called Heritage. What's this one? Saver. Uh, we got Atelier. <laughs> we've got uh, Ritual. We've got Fabric. We've got Tinker. We've got Dwell, and then we can just keep going through. So there's 10 free themes. And in order to install these, we just click to the visit the theme store. We go through and we can see them all sort of laid out here. And now to look at feature number two, I'm gonna install one of these themes and show you exactly how it works. So I've installed this into my demo store. So let's go through and I'll show you feature number two directly in this theme. Click customize. Now, because this theme has been generated by Shopify, it has AI built directly into it, which means we can use AI to help us customize this theme. This is what they're called generated blocks. And I'll show you how that works. Over on the left, we can see these little plus items here. And where we see add block, if we click plus there, what we're gonna see here is this option here, which is called generate. Now, what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna generate the block underneath this group here. So I'm gonna actually create a new section, click add section. And I'm just gonna do a custom section. And then within that custom section, I'm gonna click add block. And this is where we're gonna generate something. I'm gonna click generate. I'm gonna type in the type of block that I wanna have in here. So I'm gonna create, create a comparison table. Okay, so one of those nice comparison tables. We click go. Now the cool thing is while this is in generating on the background, we can actually still go in and edit the theme. So you can see all the work happening here and the AI is doing its thing. So we could still go through and we can go and edit the theme as we want. While that block is generating the background, let's move on to update number three, where we use AI to create themes out of nowhere. So now in the theme section, of your online store, you're gonna see this section here which says design your store in seconds. Now this is where we can type in the type of store that we wanna generate. You can see I've been playing around with it here. But let's do a store that sells gym equipment in a modern luxury style. See what happens. Okay, so it's generated these themes for me here out of absolute nowhere. So let's click view demo and we'll see what it looks like. It's actually not too bad. You know, it's not amazing, but you know what? It's a pretty modern sort of luxury style store and it's definitely better than nothing, right? Let's see what the other one it does. So it's given us three options here. Elevate your fitness journey, slightly different look and feel. And it's generating all these images for us. Let's have a look at the other one. You know, it's not too bad. You know, it's creating a theme from scratch. It's on the, it's on the you know, the style that you want. It looks pretty good, but hey, that's pretty good considering we don't now have to buy a theme or we have to, you know, try and find one and fit our brand in there. So we can now generate themes from scratch. All right, let's go back and see whether or not that block has been generated. So we'll go back here and here it is. This is the comparison table. Now that's actually not too bad, but I actually wanna be able to create icons in here and it doesn't look like when I pop in here that I can, you know, create or remove columns, right? So what we can actually do is we can actually update, I guess, the block here. So, uh, I need the ability to add icons to the header and also add or remove columns and rows. So we can continue to iterate this block. Now, while we're waiting for that to generate, let's move on to the next feature. And that is feature number four, where we're gonna use Sidekick to do everything that we want. Now, Sidekick has been promised to us for the last sort of two years and it's Shopify's answer sort of to ChatGPT and Shopify coming together and having a baby. That's what Sidekick is. Now Sidekick now is actually useful. It was sort of okay in the past. We could ask it questions, it could do things, but now is super useful. Let me show you what I mean. Tell me what my best sales days are. 
So what it's doing here is it can actually use the data of your store, pulls together analytics, looks at what you're saying and give you an answer. Right, so we can see that the best sales days analysis was $22,000 and it's sort of telling you exactly what's happening here. All right, so we could do things like, uh, uh, that's great, what day is best for me to send a marketing email? So it's saying to determine my best day for sending marketing emails, I'll analyze your engagement patterns. Okay, and it's given me back uh, based on my data. Okay, based on your sales data and email marketing best practices, Sunday's your best sales day, um, so for my business, it says send emails at least once a month, test different sending times, consider. So it's sort of given me a pretty generic answer, but it's used my data to tell me which day to send. But you can also ask questions like, what are my best selling products? And it's popped out exactly what my best selling products are. Okay, awesome. And then what we could do is we could do create a discount for, you know, create a 20% discount targeting customers who purchase the coffee. And it's gonna go through and actually create that discount. We can even say, Create me a homepage banner to promote that discount. Let's see what happens, okay? Okay, let's have a look. It says, when you click this link, it'll take you to your theme editor where you can customize the banner. You better just colors and text. Let's see what happens here. All right, so it doesn't look like that is working just yet. Now, this is so new, it's hot off the shelf. What I'm finding is as I'm doing some of this AI stuff, it's a little bit slow. So I think there's a huge demand on the servers, but you can sort of see the possibility of this. Let's try one more thing. Where in my conversion funnel are most people dropping off? So it's going through, checking out the store analytics. It's doing a conversion funnel analysis. And it's telling me exactly sort of where things are going and giving me a full uh, detail of what to do there. And if we click check out conversion funnel analysis, what it's actually done, it's creating a report, building out the SQL and, you know, showing me exactly where things are. So Sidekick has gotten a lot better and I'm sure the more you use it, the more value you're gonna get out of it. Just basically ask it any question you have about your business that you think it's got the information for and go through it. Saves having the sift through reports and dashboards. All right, let's go back and see whether that block has been generated. Awesome, so we're seeing the block here and it's telling us whether we need to show columns on or off. It's given us the features, but it hasn't given us the icons. Okay, so we probably still need to get it to add in the icons. I need to be able to upload icons for each heading. Awesome, great. So it's gonna go through and do that for us. Let's move on to update number five. Now this one is called one discount multiple savings. Now this is a really cool one that I thought we should have already had. Basically what happens is when we give someone a coupon code right now, there is just one discount that we can apply and it might just be $20 off your order or 20% off your order. But sometimes we might wanna give free shipping, a gift with purchase, buy one, get one. We might wanna do more things and that means we have to coupon stack. Now what they're doing here is they're gonna allow you to create one coupon and have multiple discounts. It's one of those things that we should have had, but we just didn't. So that's a nice little feature. Now let's move on to feature number six. This one's about shipping. So there's an update to the way that we do flat rates for shipping. Now, if you're running multiple ways warehouses or multiple locations, sometimes we ship items from multiple places. If someone buys two items from you, one comes from one location, one comes from the other, what happens is Shopify actually charges the customer twice for shipping. What this little update does is it just merges the two. So your customer pays one flat rate for shipping. It's super simple. Again, it's one of those things we probably should have had that we didn't know we needed, but now we've got it. Now, feature number seven is one that is just going to make your customer service so much easier and so much better. And it's actually gonna save you money and keep money within your business. And it's this one here, which is a refund to store credit. Now, if you think about when someone in your store needs a refund, typically what we have to do is refund them via the same channel that they paid. So if they paid on card, we refund on card. If they paid on PayPal, PayPal, you get it. Now with this update, no matter how they've paid, we can refund them in store credit. Now the benefit to that is, is that's gonna keep the money within your store and it means that they're not gonna go and spend that money at one of your competitors. So customer service can now refund to store credit. Now, before I finish up this video, let's see how that block is coming along. Okay, it's actually done a really good job of this now. So now we can see all the features here and we can select an icon, we can do anything that we want. So what we can see is with these blocks, we can generate them from a single idea, we can continue to iterate them and make them whatever we want and we can fully customize the theme based on what we need. Now let's move on to the final feature that I think is worth talking about that you need to know about, and that's feature number eight. 
We're seeing major improvements to the way that global shipping and global business works on Shopify. So there's lots of different updates to this and I'm gonna include in number eight. The first one is uh, currency payout. So typically if you've started your store in a certain currency and people are paying in multiple different currencies, we can only pay it out into your, your, your local currency which has all these transfer fees. Shopify now allows you to deposit into multiple accounts for multiple different currencies so you don't get those exchange fees. Big bonus for people who are selling globally. There's also some changes to the way tariffs work, obviously with all the changes that are happening in tariffs, but we're also seeing some changes to the way languages are played out. So there's now 20 native languages directly in Shopify. We're also seeing that there is more currency improvements to the way currencies work. And we're also seeing that ShopPay is now available in multiple different regions. So Shopify is really pushing this global business side of things. So no matter where you are in the world, it's gonna make it super easy for you to sell globally. Now that's my top eight features for the Shopify summer editions in 2025. I'd love to hear down below, are there any features that you want me to double down on and learn a little bit more about? Is there any that I've missed that you think are better that we should talk about? And if you think there's features that are missing from Shopify that they haven't even included been waiting on for ages, uh, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you just wanna learn more about growing your Shopify store, I've got a couple of videos here that I think would be really great for you based on where you are in your e-commerce journey.